Hey YouTubers, Scooter here. Just uh, here's a look at my 160 amp hour backup power supply, solar generator, whatever you prefer to call it. I'm just going to call it a power supply. Just a quick look here at the front. You can see I got four sockets there, three of them are 12 volt uh, sockets, and then the bottom one is for USB. I've got a ventilation intake fan right there and some sockets for plugging in some LED lights I got 12 volt on this side here I've got a got my yardstick here charger input that's just coming from my wall it hooks up to my onboard 110 volt charger here is my 110 volt outlet come up feeding off of my inverter that I have and then on the back is some um, two more exhaust fans that actually draw the air through the box I've got sealed uh, AGM batteries inside of it so not much ventilation needs to happen but they're there <clears throat> on this side I've got auxiliary ports for hooking up I don't know maybe jumper cables maybe my 300 or 3000 watt marine inverter um, I've it's modified sine wave but I've got a filter that helps to clean it up a little bit and it's got a throw switch here for those auxiliary ports I've got a 12 volt socket right there that I could use for plugging into a cigarette lighter and charge while I'm going down the road and I have an Anderson connector right here so that I can expand this out to a bigger battery bank and there's a throw switch using these keys for that okay <clears throat> moving to the inside of the box I found this box at Northern Tool I believe it was around 60 bucks and I really like it and this is why it's got a lot of different little storage things here going for it just kick it out pull the handle out and these things will slide right out of the way so I've got access to the internals of this box <clears throat> I store my 12 volt lights LEDs both of them in there try not to make you seasick moving the camera around so much we'll turn those on in a second and there is my uh, battery charger for when I'm plugged into the wall uh, it's a speed charger it'll charge at six four or two amps and it's got a microprocessor inside of it so um, it'll just charge at maintenance and then actually kind of cut itself off as well when it's when they're fully charged and then just trickle as needed <clears throat> in this compartment I'm in the process of building a little double-decker storage here so I've got 12 volt adapters for several different things my laptop CPAP um, I've actually got one ordered to charge uh, my 3.7 volt flashlight batteries because um, I don't want to use the inverter no more than I have to due to um, voltage loss that they're not just very efficient I've got a good inverter but uh, you still you know from what I've read can lose up to around 30 percent um, uh, when you're using an inverter <clears throat> so I'll have all that stuff um, dialed in in this shelf stuff on top of it and whatnot so take a look at inside of the box here's my solar charge controller there are there's a little fuse block for all my 12 volt stuff and I've got a main switch on a key for turning the whole box on or off 
and I have a charge selector switch. Um, it actually, the 12 volt side actually energizes a relay that closes and opens the circuit. The solar is on a 40 amps um, contact and the 12 volt is on 30. And then the other side of the switch, 110 volts actually turns on the charger. I got this little thing here on a hinge, it's pretty nice. So, here's some of the circuitry that I got going in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on, but I, uh, I was pretty serious about trying to make it as safe as possible. So here is a 30 amp breaker for the solar coming in. So I've got a way to cut that off coming straight from the plug. And then, I don't know if you can see it down here, but down in here, I've got another breaker set up for uh, putting power to the inverter. I use some pretty heavy duty cable in here, um, all the way to four and six aught wire. Um, like I say, I want to expand this out, you know, to probably about a 350 to maybe 400 amp hour battery bank. I want to get up to about 500 total. And that's just kind of what I'm going to use it for, for mini fridge. Again, I'm forcing myself to do as much as possible on 12 volts so that I'm not wasting um, my, my, my voltage and converting it from um, 12 volt to 110 with that inverter. It's a Wagon Pure Sign, really good little uh, inverter. If you get a chance to look at uh, those or pick them up, um, I recommend it. So that is a general outlook of the box. So let's kick it on. There, it's that simple. I'll turn the lights back on. I've got that going across a shunt and that light's pulling 0.3 amps. <clears throat> if I click on to solar right now, my panels aren't plugged in, which I'm going to get up to 400 watts of panels. This uh, controller only handles um, 30 amps, so that's um, about what I'm going for, but it, it still back feeds through the batteries. It's getting a reading there 13.4 volts So again the middle position puts it back in 12 volt socket mode And then I do have a switch down here to where I can control that um, Externally as well, so in the vehicle I don't have to open up the the whole box here and then here's 110 volts charger kicks on it goes straight into the 2 amp trickle mode so that's what she does I look forward to hearing any feedback that you might, you guys might have, and um, if you want to naysay, that's fine. But I built this box um, the way I wanted it; it's mine. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.